Welcome back. This is the Larry James Show. My question for you today is, how much of your life do you control? You've never been asked that, have you? Well, think about that before you answer. You probably have a job, right? Which means you're on a job eight hours of a 24-hour day. So that leaves 16 hours for you to do other things, right? What are those other things that you're doing? And can you take some of those things away or add something else that will bring more value to who you are and what you're doing? One of the things that I find to be the case more often than not is that we have a lot of what I call downtime. Driving, uh, sitting at the doctor's office, waiting at a grocery store, just times when we could be gaining knowledge about something else that would allow us to speed up our journey to the point that we're trying to get to. Let's say you're working on a master's degree or a bachelor's degree even and you have to study for an exam but you have to go to work you have to spend time with your significant other if you have one you have to spend time with your children if you have any there is those things take up time and before you know it you're really not conscious of how much time you're actually what I call wasting because as you're driving, you could be listening to audios that enhance your understanding of certain things. When you're at a location where you're getting your oil changed, you can read something that you need to gain that knowledge about. There are just all types of ways to be able to free up more and more time so that you can make that time more valuable so that you can cre increase your value to the world. And one of the things you have to do is assess where you are before you can make any type of adjustments. Because some things you just simply can't replace. Picking up your kids from the daycare, driving your kids to school, driving yourself to work. You can't replace that. You have to do those things. So uh, as soon as you're able to outsource some things, outsourcing means allow someone else to do it. Go to the grocery store or go to the buy shoes for somebody or anything other than something that takes up your time. Let's say you were able to free up about two hours out of your busy, busy schedule that you already have. You're going to have to put in that two hour window something that's going to allow you to gain knowledge about something that's going to be valuable to you. And if you don't, chances are you'll put in something that brings you excitement, joy, and happiness. <laughs> God forbid, right? But that's not the sacrifice that you need to make in order to get to where you're trying to go. Those things will come later. Not that you can't enjoy some happiness and all that along the way. I'm simply saying that you want to measure the amount of time that you have versus the amount of time that you waste and make the adjustments. How much time do you really control in your life? Speakerlarry.com